All right, today is uh, Sunday, October 26, 2014, and um, everyone wants to know um, what's costly about this project. Well, actually, the costly thing is actually is having to refill refill everything from scratch. You normally don't do your antifreeze and your transmission fluid. You normally drain all your oil, but um, you know some oh, residual oil, residual 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 oil remains in, remains in there. But this is basically what I'm getting, and uh, because it's close to uh, winter time, I'm going to put in the um, thinner oil. Um, there's no need for the high mileage because the uh, well, the transmit the, the engine is is, is, is it's going to be new by the time I get through with it and stuff. But uh, for right now, um, with the turbo, it's going to need uh, almost another quart in there, and uh, this is just enough just to get it going. So. This right here is a, is, is this basically is Castrol GTX, it's the 10W30. This is a five quart right here, and these are individual quarts here, here, and here. So that would be a five, six, seven, and then a 0.95 for the turbo. Um, this over here is, uh, it's not gonna be enough for the transmission, but it's enough to um, uh, to get it going and to see um, how, it, how it does, because the, um, uh, the torque converter is gonna take quite a bit of it. Uh, total complete system overhaul, as they call it, a refill calls for eight quarts, and I can't do the math, but um, well, I'm gonna get it in a uh, in a small quart bottle later on from our rallies. This one here says four quarts right here, and this is another four quarts right here. This is uh, I I don't know liters. That's Canadian stuff. This right here is the good stuff right here. They actually said that they actually keep this in the back because. People are actually usually stealing this stuff, but this is the stuff right here. This is a lot better than the ethylene glycol. And what this is is basically is this is the this is a phosphate-free um, antifreeze, which is good for stuff like Volkswagen and Volvos and Porsches and everything else. And what this does is basically this is actually you have to dilute this. This doesn't come diluted. This is already this is pretty much full strength. And on the back, this says this is good for vehicles like um, uh, Saab, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, uh, uh, the old school uh, Toyotas, Nissans, Hondas, Mazda, Hyundai, Kias, Mitsubishi's, Acuras, Infinities, Audis, Jaguar, Porsches, Volkswagens, and Land, and Land Rovers. And basically, this is a, um, it's a product that's either, I believe this is OAT, OAT. Instead of um, uh, hot, and those two words basically are um, oh here it is right here. Um, basically, well, my camera won't focus for some reason. Hot hot is basically is um, phosphate-free hybrid organic acid technology chemistry, and. Um, Oat is basically is organic acid technology, and what this does is basically is this is um, what this basically what this does is this makes this what you know the problem with ethylene glycol was that it was really corrosive, and when you have the alkalinity of the the old school steel blocks or you have a you know uh, you have a aluminum block and then you have a steel impeller in some of those cars, it causes the um, alkalinity in the chemicals and it will cause the, it causes the it's just you know, the stuff to eat away, which is why there's a lot of big debate about the Volkswagen and their plastic impellers and stuff like that. Uh, it wasn't the well, yeah, they had some problems with the hardened plastics, but that was because they were um, they weren't able to withstand the temperatures. The new actually, the new Volkswagen uh, plastic impellers they're able to withstand 400 degrees, which is more than enough. They just double the engine temperature, and um, that's uh, what the stuff int is intended for, and um, so anyway, um, uh, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, uh, put on my uh, exhaust manifold and get going. Alright, later.